What's up guys? So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew on your Macintosh computer. It's a very simple process, just follow along and you'll get it done in no time. The first thing you got to do is just click the Apple icon in the top left corner so you can find out what version of Mac OS you're running. After you click the Apple icon, press About This Mac and you're going to get a little window pop up showing you all the details about your device. Make sure you're in the Overview tab and at the top you will see that it says Mac OS and then the version that you have. I have Mojave. You might also have it or you'll have something else, for example, Big Sur, Catalina, anything like that. Make sure you know which one you've got and then go down to the description and choose the correct command based off of your version. The first command is gonna be for Mac OS Catalina, Mojave, and Big Sur. If you have any other version, make sure you use the second command, for example, High Sierra, Sierra, El Capitan, or anything earlier than that. Once you've got the correct command copied, open up the terminal on your computer. If you don't know how to open it, simply press command space, type in terminal, press enter, and you will get the terminal opened up. After you have the terminal open, just go ahead and paste the command that you copied from the description down below, press enter, and then Homebrew is just gonna start up its installation process. I'm not gonna let the whole thing run because I already have Homebrew downloaded on my device, but you will reach this point where it asks you for your password. Now this password is your administration password and also the password that you use to log onto the computer. So be sure to type it in there. I just wanna give you guys a quick heads up. As you're typing in your password, it is not gonna show you that it's receiving any feedback. That's just a, feed, that's just a feature inside of the terminal so that it doesn't show anybody else how many characters your password is. But keep in mind that it is keeping track of your password and registering it. So once you have your password typed in there, just press enter. It'll say press return to continue. So press enter again, and it will continue with its installation process. Like I said, I already have Homebrew installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the installation. But for you, let it sit, let it run, let it do its thing, and it will complete. Once it's done, Homebrew will be completely ready to go. The only thing I'd recommend doing is just turning off the analytics. To do that, it's very simple. All you gotta do is type in brew analytics off, press enter, and it will turn off the analytics tracking. And then once that's complete, you are good to go. In order to install any package out there, anything that you have in mind, all you gotta do is type in brew install, and then the name of the package. For example, you can install git, you can install telnet, you can install just tons of things that are out there. So for example, I'll go ahead and type in Telnet, press enter, and it will start doing the installation process and then getting that complete. That's all there really is to it, guys. Hopefully you found this video quick, simple, and to the point. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If it worked for you, drop a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos, coding related, terminal related, and just anything tech related in general, be sure to subscribe and turn on bell notifications. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.